Hello everyone, this is Moses from Moses in Korea. In today's video is the Q&A of this week. Are you curious about it? So let's get it! I thought all the expenses including dorm, rent, meals and even necessary purchases will be covered in KJSP scholarship money and that I won't have to take money to take any money with me to Korea. Isn't the case? Of course it's the case because they will pay you everything. The plane ticket, they will give you like the they pay the school fees, they will give you pocket money and then they will pay for you also the dormitory so everything is paid including if you are smart enough or you are interested in Korean language and pass the test and get level 6 they will add you another hundred dollars for pocket money so feel free and don't worry and if you want to come to Korea and go in shopping buy stuff you can work or apply for a part-time job so it's up to you so you don't need money from your country but in case you can bring few but KJSP scholarship they will pay you everything do you apply for the government scholarship first or do you apply to the university you intend to study at before mm, I want to continue in for mass master's degree in marine biology ho, 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 ho. That's good. First of all, you have to choose the university that you want to attend and check if the the major you want is available on that university. Usually on the announcement they they show or they displays all the school available and the uh, majors available. So please check out and then choose the major and the school and then apply for the scholarship. Simple as that. Only job foreigners get easily in Korea is English teaching jobs and I want to study journalism and mass communication. Will I be able to get a job with good pay? <laughs> the reason why a lot of foreigners teach English here in Korea, of course it's good to go back in your country and do the, the job related to your major, but teaching English here in Korea, the pay is better. That's why a lot of foreigners stay here and teach English. And another thing, a lot of Koreans do jobs not related to their majors so i can recommend you to think about what else you can do a part of the journalism and another thing the reason why they don't hire foreigners it's because they are not that fluent in korean and they don't really understand 100 percent the korean culture and don't worry because there are a lot of companies who hire also a lot of foreigners so make a research about those company and I made a research on Korean university and I found out that there are a lot of university with journalism but to be honest it's not easy to be hired in famous or known like newspaper company but it is possible like a lot of foreigners are worried like how can I get a job will I be able to be hired in Korea but to be honest even Korean is not really easy to be hired or to get a job but if you are a talented foreigner and you are smart enough it will be easy for you to get hired so work hard and good luck hey I'm in the, I'm in the third semester of bachelor so can I continue my study in Korea by the scholarship hmm <laughs> please answer my question haha <laughs> Uh, to be honest, it's not possible. If you are in the third year, you cannot get a KJSB scholarship. There is only two ways. You have to graduate that major and come on master's scholarship or finish the that major and start another major and come as a bachelor. But if your university in your country has a partnership with a Korean university, you can come as a transfer student that is possible but you will need uh, your school to be connected with the korean university that's the only way i have a question i'm studying in china and i will be graduating in july 2021 my major is teaching english language to foreigners and can i apply before i graduate with uh, with my third and half year score hmm. uh, this question i directly asked to um, someone in church in the NID and he told me that 
if you want a KGSP scholarship, you have to study the same major in the bachelor and the masters. So if you want to change the major, you can come on your own. It's okay. But if you want a scholarship, you have to study the same thing. And the next question, I, talk, I talked about it before. You can't get the scholarship in the middle of the program. So you will have to graduate and apply for master's or apply in bachelor's degree in another major. So that's the answer. So guys, oh, the question this week, there was a lot of questions, but I hope this video has helped you and I answered you the question that you had and if you have anything else you want to ask feel free to comment and i will answer to you next week but before asking the question please make a research on my channel i made a lot of video including the question that you might have so before asking the question please check in my videos if the question is not available in my videos okay you can comment it so let's end up the video here and see you in the next week Annyeong!